Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. If you're struggling with high protein meals that are tasty, I have just the recipe for you. Today, we'll be working on something out of the ordinary. We'll be working on a curry strawberry chicken. And I love trying new recipes, especially if it's tasty and helps with my goals. Now let's get started. So what I have here is just the standard chicken breast. I'm using four chicken breast, and you wanna make sure that it is boneless and skinless. Um, I also have some French dressing as well. And then I have some strawberry jam, actually. This is reduced sugar strawberry jam that I got as a gift from Jerome, actually. <laughs> yes, thank you, Jerome. And then I'm using some curry powder. Okay, so the first thing is you wanna grab a big mixing bowl, and then you want to dump your French dressing inside the bowl. And if you don't have any French dressing, another alternative would be, I guess, um, sweet Catalina dressing or Russian dressing. Basically, you want a dressing that is kind of like ketchup based. So we were gonna put in our French dressing. I have a quarter cup here of my strawberry jam. And then I will be putting in um, two tablespoons of curry powder as well. Gives it that nice savory taste. And then let's not forget, I'm actually using some onion soup mix. And this is just a standard, you know, Lipton onion soup mix. We'll be putting in three tablespoons, which I believe is almost the whole package. So that's one. Let's see. And that's two. Yeah, it's the whole package. <laughs> I like flavor. <laughs> okay, and now you want to mix your marinade. Okay. And already I can just smell the curry and this dressing. And I'm not using any salt because we did add quite a bit of this onion soup mix, which has all of your seasonings already. And okay, and then you want to grab your chicken breast. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna actually just make some slits in here. And the reason why I like to cut some slits, not deep slits, just because we are going to let this marinate. So I like for the, the marinade to kind of get into the chicken and absorb as much of the flavor as possible. So let's dump your chicken breast in here. Like I said, it just helps with abs absorbing the extra flavor. There you go, and that's it. And what I like about this recipe is that you can make a lot of chicken breast at the same time. So it's really good for your meal prep. <laughs> so let's mix this together into a bowl. Now, you do want this to marinate for about, I would say about 30 minutes, you know, an hour, whatever. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. So I'm just gonna actually, we're, we're gonna let this, we're actually gonna cook it right now because we're not gonna let it sit for an hour. We don't have time for that. So I have a pan here that's ready. I'm just actually going to oil my tray we're actually going to cook this in an air fryer. But if you don't have an air fryer, you can use your oven as well. Just wanna make sure that your oven is preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about, you wanna bake it for about 20 to 25, whenever all the pink is gone. Okay, so we'll just put this here. And I love my air fryer because it just cooks everything perfectly. And you just set it and then you just, you can walk away, do what you have to do and it tells you when it's done because you set the timer, right? Okay, like that. And I was able to fit four chicken breasts on one single tray, which is great. I'm just gonna clean up a bit here. Always make sure you wash your hands as you go along. And then the rest of the dressing, you can just throw it away. Okay, so let's set up our air fryer, we're just gonna set it at about, tw for 20 minutes, let's do 22 just to be safe. 22 at 400, and then we're gonna have it, when it's gonna bake in the air fryer. Let's see, there we go. And I actually have some that I made in advance that I wanted to show you. So this is what it actually looks like. There we go. 
And look how perfectly cooked it is. Can you smell this, Jerome? Yes. I'm ready to eat. I think we're all ready to eat. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And look, it looks like I put it on the barbecue. Crazy. Jerome, do you want to yes. have a little taste? Yes. <laughs> but first, let's end the show. Okay, Jerome, Hello. we're going to end the show. You know, I'm going to have a taste. Perfect. See how. Let's cut it through the middle. And look how perfectly cooked that is. Wow, you see that, guy? Perfect. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in on Neri's Kitchen. I really hope you guys try this recipe. It's really tasty. Um, any questions, please feel free to send me a DM, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>